So as you can see with the pile of plastics next to me, punching for bass and weeds is really effective. There's one. There you go. Not bad. They're not missing a meal here. No. Boy, <laughs> they've been munching. <laughs> there we go. All right, buddy. And you need three things. The first is a VMC rubber stopper. The second is a punch weight. And the third, and we typically like to use three sizes, either three aught, four aught, or five aught, and it's a VMC redline hook. So you start with the rubber stopper. And what you do is you take your line and they got these little loops here. Put the line through, got it connected like that, and then you just slide stopper right onto the line. So that's on there. The next is choosing the right punch weight. Now typically we like to go a little heavier than you would typically think. Um, there's two reasons. The first is you're able to really be accurate with that heavier weight. And the second is that heavier weight keeps it down on the bottom. So you're able to pop your bait in place, right? So whether you're pitching to a, a point on a weed bed or, or a, a pocket in the weed bed, you're able to keep that bait in that spot for an extended period of time. So we've got a three quarter ounce punch weight and real simple, just slide that right on up to the rubber stopper. And I like to give myself a little bit of room here. So it's gonna tie the hook on. And I like using a three-aught red line hook. So I'm gonna take this off the keeper, just like that. These hooks are strong and sharp. Okay. And when you're attaching this hook, you wanna do a Snell knot. And uh, the biggest reason for that is the purchase you get when you tie a Snell knot on to a punch rig. You take your line and you put it underneath the hook, okay? Then you make a loop. And I typically hold it right on the bend of the hook. Then you take your tag end and you want to do four to six wraps tight around the hook. Then you take your tag end and put it through the loop you made. And then you can wet it and then pull it tight. And there you go. And what where that snell knot attaches, it's actually below the eyelid of the hook. And I'll show you why it's important here. So you cut the tag end and then slide your bullet weight back down. And as you can see, when I, that bullet weight gets tight to it, you see how the hook is curved up? It gives you a great purchase point and it just really helps increase hook sets. Especially, you know, you're fighting these fish through really thick cover and it makes a big difference. So, snelled out on a punch rig, it's the way to go. Then, just simply picking the right plastic and you cannot go wrong with the craw tube from Big Bite Baits, green pumpkin, because everything eats green pumpkin. So, hook her up and then we're ready to go. Ready to go catch some more fish.